Sasha, Timeless Traveler, here for Oatness at Space City Con. And next to me is Manu and Te Reme. That's me. That's me, <laughs> Manu and Te Reme. Who is also known for his role as Icheb on Star Trek also Voyager. Also known for just being cool. Uh, do you have any favorite memories from your time on Star Trek? The whole two years of uh, being on that spaceship were the worst years of my life. I don't have any positive memories. It was awful. It was uh, the Borg makeup uh, smelled like a cat urine. It 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 uh, it, it um, decomposes really quickly, so it smells just awful. Uh, Jerry Ryan was the most ugly, ugly woman that I have ever met in my whole life, and the the talent of like a Bob Picardo, probably one of the most talentless actors. I have ever, you know, had the time to even look at, let alone act with. Um, the, the, the special effects, you know, make me vomit. Horrible, just awful time of my life making that show. And I, I just, I wish I could forget about it, truthfully. I wish I could just let it go. You're about to step back into Star Trek. Yeah, I know. I don't know why. Uh, uh, I'm going back into a show called Star Trek Renegades, and... Um, it's it's more work with guys like Tim Russ and Robert Picardo and, and uh, thank God I don't have to work with Jerry Ryan again. But um, Star Trek Renegades is going to be a great hard time. No, actually the film's going to be great. I'm ex- you know I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm super excited. Uh, each have originally had this really, really huge role, but we've made a compromise, and he's back in the film. He was out of the film for a while because they were rewriting and doing different things. Um, but he's back in the role and uh, back in the movie, and I'm also playing John Hertzler's, uh, J.G. Hertzler. If I called him John, he'd make me smoke pot or something. Um, <laughs> he, he's playing the, the bad guy, the evil Siphon, which is a new alien race that you get to see, and I'm playing his son as well, so I'll be playing two roles in that film. Pretty excited about it. We're supposed to shoot in October. It's pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, uh, they'll get everything together and it'll happen. Because we pushed once already. We were going to shoot a few months ago. Does it feel good to be part of the Star Trek crew again? Yeah. You know, I just—it's going to be neat to step back into the character and, and work with the guys again. I actually just um, did this film called Unbelievable. It's got like 27 Star Trek actors in it, and it's a farce, like Naked Gun, or like, um, you know, Airplane. So we're all just making fun of ourselves, and it's about these giant plants that come to attack Earth and turn everybody into plants. And Kirk is played by one of those puppets from uh, Team America World Police. So it's all of us in this puppet Kirk. And so like we've got these space shots of like me and Tim and... and uh, Garrett walking down the hall, like looking all tough, and then this little that little puppet thing walking next to us, and suddenly in mid slow mo we start walking like the puppet too. So it's just it's going to be a big funny, you know, making fun of ourselves, making fun of sci-fi in general film, and working with those guys again was a blast. So just getting back with the boys again, of course, and the girls, it's going to be it's going to be great. Even if the movie's a big stinker, it's going to be fun because just hanging out with those guys is fun. Are there any other current projects you're working on? Um, I have a, a. I started producing. I have a. You can look all of these up online, by the way. I have a, a half a million dollar dark comedy coming soon called Benjamin Troubles about this graffiti painting kid that gets finds a pair of magic blue jeans that print money. And so every hour on the hour, he gets $100, and it's like a Guy Ritchie romance uh, like Guy Ritchie fast paced you know gangsters but with some romance and some magic pants um, I'm also producing a film called Dark River which is hopefully going to be like this generation's uh, um, deliverance um, I have a film that just got released called Fortress a World War II drama um, I like Memphis Bell this is an exciting film that's coming out um, I have a, a western called Six Gun Savior coming down the line and a modern day western called Hideaway that I'm going to go shoot in about four weeks. Oh, on One Tree Hill just got released, the s- season nine, and I was on seven episodes of that playing a vicious bad guy. I love playing bad guy. Oh, Abstraction! I did a great scene in this film called Abstraction with um, Eric Roberts, and uh, that's going to be fun too. So. Can you tell me a little bit about your artwork? 
Yeah, me and my girlfriend basically uh, started, well, we were painting opposite each other. We were just painting. And um, one day about three years ago, we did a painting together and it came out great. And so ever since then, we've been doing collaboratives. And we've started a site called fbacollective.com, um, brilliantart.com. Um, and uh, actually, the best place to go to see all of the art is the Facebook page. It's um, You can go to www.facebook backslash great art one two three four and uh, we've got some when Benjamin Troubles comes out because it's about a graffiti artist and I'm also a painter um, we're getting written up in a bunch of art magazines juxtapositions probably gonna do a piece on us and um, we've we've got a we've got a big scene now you know we're doing huge wall-sized gallery pieces and um, we're pretty I'm pretty excited about the whole painting thing it's really really cool thank you so much you. for I'm talking. known for being cool that, that's um, I can That's tell. the other thing that I'm known for besides uh, Star Trek, being super cool and eating orange Tic Tacs. I love orange Tic Tacs so much. Uh, I even memorized the, the advertising, you know, campaign for orange Tic Tacs. Orange Tic Tacs, little yellow, different. No, no, that's not it. Uh, it's um, orange Tic Tacs, built tough. Is that? No, no, that's not. Um, uh, I know, and I know, I know this. Orange Tic Tacs. Ho, ho, ho. That's not it either, is it? No, I know, no, I, I, they're really good, though. Uh, I know, the, it, Orange Tic Tacs. Nabisco. Ding. Is that, is that the right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Orange Tic Tacs. Drive safe. I hate Tic Tacs. Uh, <laughs> if you want a mint, you want a big, fat, mint you know I want a mint that like I can eat with both hands like a burger oh that's it orange Tic Tacs have it your way oh, that's Burger King orange Tic Tacs <sighs> I was that was Alka-Seltzer um, <laughs> orange Tic Tacs and they go down smooth is that does orange Tic Tacs have an advertising campaign am I just Oh, no, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Orange Tic Tacs, they smell so good. No, that's not it. <laughs> Juno eats them. The girl from Juno, she likes them. Can we end this interview on something better than uh, this?